Hi Pisces, this is your reading and welcome back and thank you very much for your support, likes and shares and throughout the year may I add if I haven't said so in uh, my yearly and I hope you have enjoyed the yearly and also watched the introduction to the year as we are going to number six. Also we all have the full moon on the 20th I've got the video out there on that as well, so enjoy. I'm using the everyday witch tarot, it's fun, and the gothic tarot, also the creativity deck, and believe in your own magic oracle. You come in with the world. You feel on top of the world. If you don't, you should, because the world is your oyster and something wonderful is here for you. Also, this is the karma card. The karma card, if you've done good or bad, or if somebody's done you good or bad, then you they, the karma will be returned threefold to you and to them. It's a little bit like a justice card. What you, uh, you will get what you deserve. It's lovely though. It's so beautiful. Look at her, she's sitting at the beach and somewhere along the line, Somewhere in the world, somebody's sitting on the beach, enjoying the wind. You might just, with this card today, I feel you might feel a wind passing you by. Well, that's an angel or an ancestor just saying hello. Usually, you see the rainbow um, in the Ten of Cups and the world, if they are not just depicted in the world. I'm sorry, I'm... You don't get the rainbow to see the rainbow in the world but it just feels like a rainbow they are just telling you that they are there and you are protected you feel good also you could be dealing with a taurus a leo um a scorpio or an aquarium you've got number 20, uh, 21 which becomes a three so you might be very creative at the moment you could also be very sensitive at the moment pisces because the full moon is coming this week because this reading is from the 18th to the 24th of October 2021 and the new moon is on the 20th so you will feel a couple of days or even before the weekend you might feel the energy of the moon and a couple of days after and remember it is most probably tougher for you as well as for the Gemini's and the Virgos because Mercury is retrograde and you do feel the shift of planets as well as you are intuitive, empathic and you are highly sensitive. Of course you are aware of this and you know how to deal with it nine times out of ten especially if you're a little bit more mature. You know who's around you, you know what to do and you know what it is so then you can cope. So long you know what it is then you can cope so if you're a young person then it is the energy of the moon and mercury retrograde just be careful of electrical things and mechanical things and mercury is also uh, sorry mercury also rules virgo not only gemini okay you also have the ten of cups and wow i hadn't seen this and i said the um the, the rainbow is here because that gets depicted in the Ten of Cups. Well, here it is. Well, you can't see the rainbow because I'm using the Gothic tarot and it is just dark with ten bats. So, to me, that could mean news is flying around or things are happening all at once. The Ten of Cups means that you do feel ultimate happy and this confirms the world. The world also means going up to the next level, like the Ten of Cups, getting married or getting engaged. Also, this could be a promotion, um, or could be, go, uh, or, or you could have a wage rise, the same as the world. You could be also traveling or moving home with the world. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. And the Ten of Cups does mean that as well, because the Ten of Cups means marriage or pregnancies you could find out you're pregnant or starting a family or ex extending the family this can be with a cat or a dog so again 
the world is also extension promotions going on to the next level in relationships or career so definitely these two are complementing and confirming each other a 10 becomes a one so there is an ending to emotional difficulties and new beginnings because the cups stand for emotions sensitivity uh, um, empathy nurturing love passion you name it you are so beautiful sensuality or beauty wow big energy for you this week definitely and i i feel that like i said like somebody might be touching you might feel a, a wisp of wind Is somebody and somebody's here and um, well lots of them are here but there's just one person that is dancing here uh, again I had that with Virgo last week but it's not the same person somebody's dancing for joy and it could be a granddad um, because um, he's saying well done well done you've got where you want to be you're going to get more you're going to get more you're going to get recognition Okay, or well, you're going to get more clients, S something more, but he's dancing a circle. <laughs> he's happy for you. Okay, um, that said, you come in on Monday with the seven of ones and you have both feet on the ground. You are strong. You're stronger than you think. You might feel you have to defend yourself, but honestly, Let's face it, you don't have to defend yourself to those that really love you, true friends and family. They should understand what you're doing and what you're busy with. You've done nothing wrong. Only the time that you have to defend yourself is with um, an official or a judicial situation. Like if you um, are not going to school or university, you might have to defend yourself um, towards your parents or to your teacher why you haven't been at school or university because I, I do read um, for younger people than 18 but I need to have their father and mother's permission or their guardian seven already means good luck so you are able to defend yourself and you're coming full circle like the ten of cups and the world and you're, you found your path and you, you are okay. Again, you've got um, the four of cups here. So you might be defending yourself against control issues. That is the first thing that came in to me. The control issues. This could be of authorities or this could be uh, of institutions like school, a hospital. You might have had an operation or a broken arm or something like that and they said <clears throat> or ankle and they said you're not allowed to play any sport and you went and did it and then you have to defend yourself of course in those situations so take it easy don't overdo it say do what a doctor says now the four of cups the four of cups means that you might be in your head right that there is something on offer from the divine so come out of your head so that you can see it and focus on what is happening around you so that you don't have to defend yourself like oh i'm bored or i'm this or it's too difficult no you don't want to feel the need to defend yourself so stay active it's all right to take time out and to contemplate that's the, the time to be in your mind and evaluate. But if you contemplate or meditate, you must evaluate the situation. Okay. Now, also with the Four of Cups, um, it means taking action. There could be something on offer. You might have to defend yourself in that situation. Uh, like if, if you're going for a job interview, you might don't get defensive. Just say, yes, I can do that. But how do you want me to do that? Or what do you expect? And then you can say what you would do. And that is also a way of defending yourself. 
telling how you would do it. You're defending your ideas, your point of view, in a gentle but in civil way. You've also got the King of Cups, so you could be dealing with a Cancer, also very nurturing and again an empathic, intuitive person, the same like you Pisces. But it's mainly the King is Cancer, but it could be another Pisces or it could be uh, of course a Scorpio. But this person has his emotions under control. When it is doing business, he does business or she. If they are in a situation of love and passion, then they're very, very passionate and very loving and caring. They're the best providers as fathers are concerned because they love you and the children and they are there for long term. They can be moody, but they're also very funny. And once you laugh with them, they jump out of that mood and everything is fine. That's why they love you the way you are and what about and love about you if you are hooked up with one of these water signs, specifically cancer. Okay, because this is, this, of course, the status of the king. He has his emotions under control, otherwise he wouldn't be having the status of the king. Like the page has to learn, the knight has to learn, and the queen is already near the status of the king. She can keep her emotions under control, but fee, uh, ladies do uh, have more um, emotions, they say, than most men. Okay? But they can be, Pisces is a good businesswoman, that's my experience. The Pisces that I've known that are women, they are phenomenal at business. They do have their emotions under control. They are, the, they are in my eyes, in that fact, the king. If you are in a judicial situation, there could be a counter that is helping you or an other water sign. And they will keep their emotions under control so that they can support you and do the talking or defend you in the right way. Justice will be done. And I hadn't seen that, but I was talking about justice, the karma card, right, before. So you will get what you deserve, and so will the other. Karma is here. Now you've also got the Eight of Cups. You want a new beginning. Now if this is a judicial situation, it will be settled. And you will have that new beginning. You will have that adventure. You will have the excitement because you have a new beginning. Something has been cut away. Boom, oh, justice has been done. You could be dealing with a Libra. Okay. Also, um, you are looking towards the future, most probably at the end of the week on Friday um, and thinking of what you want to do. That could be gnawing at you. And that's why you're in the position of the Four of Cups isolating yourself and being uh, contempl uh, con contem being contemplative. No, that's not the word, contemplation. Complema com contemplating uh, your future and evaluating on what you want to do and how to start this new future. Now, don't throw any old shoes away before you have a new pair. So don't go and and leave a job if you haven't got another job because the bills will still be coming in. Now, if it, is, if it isn't with, with regards to a divorce or a separation and it is regards to um, a, a, a romance relationship and you find it is boring and you want excitement, you want to break away, then find the passion. Find something new that you can do with your partner. Okay? Don't walk away. Just to, I mean, a, a wedding, can, a marriage can still be, or a relationship can get boring, but it's to find the re-ignition of the passion and the, because the love is still there. Don't get bored. Do something exciting, like take a picnic 
or go out and do a barbecue like this this seems something like Canada Australia or uh, uh, America where they have big picnic tables in 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 the nature with a barbecue a public barbecue and she's holding the food there and the chalices throw a party out in nature in a in a public place where they have these barbecues go and do something like that that's exciting that could reignite the passion Ooh, wow that you want to do that that is what your partner could be saying what a good idea let's have the party away from the house so we don't have the rubbish we'll do everything with plastic cups and paper plates and just dump it in the dumpster okay i have to yeah you know, they're talking to me giving me these ideas and i they make me laugh they really do i love the company thank you guys okay strength you are definitely in your strength oh this is funny you're going up from the seven to the eight, um, 11 okay the strength card now you could be dealing with a leo okay watch out usually when a leo purrs he doesn't rule he can talk sweet nothings he is very passionate he is also very funny when he purrs this big cat acting like a little puddle cat so you know you've got a lot of cats here lovely you've got the black cat twice so that's good luck ah lovely i love this reading it's humorous sorry that you can't join in i'm trying to translate it as as good as possible paper plates and plastic cups well get the paper cups darling and be environmental friendly this reading is getting a life of its own and i think they're coming in because they know that you uh, can understand and you won't think I'm crazy. Okay, the dragon, the big dragon. I love that. I love these gothic cards. They're cute. And they've got the tarot in them. Look, this is the sword of justice, but it's got an eye. Like the big, uh, the, uh, uh, was that big house? The big brother? Yeah, keeping an eye on you. We've seen you. We've got videos. I'm hearing we've got videos. We've caught you on camera. That's also something that I'm hearing. Okay, it's really weird. I'm jumping backwards and forwards. Sorry about the confusion. So you could be dealing with a Leo, but you are in your strength and the all over energy. You're on top of the world. Ultimate happiness. There you go. You've got it and you're going to have it. What you've sown, you shall reap. Again, if you've done good, you will reap good. If you've done bad, you will reap bad. But on the other hand, you could, be, you could have sown other seeds. You could have sown the seed to be noticed, to get that recognition from an, a new person to love, okay? Or to reignite that fire, that passion within your relationship with this funky idea of having a barbecue or a picnic a party in nature i love it and you also have the four of wands so if you have sown the seeds to get together or partner up you will be partnering up you could be getting married the four of wands or you could be moving home what you uh, um, your affirmations or visualizations are coming to fulfillment with regarding to move home or renting a new home buying a home getting married partnering up legally officially it doesn't have to be a marriage in a church or a registrar office it can also be an um, a combining contract a partnership contract a living partner contract we call it in holland wow that is gorgeous so you've got two fours that means stability proper foundations and productivity now there could be celebrations going on that could be that party oh well they saw that before me on the other side do the wedding reception outside they say if you're getting married i think it's more of a a contract either a business partner contract 
or a living together contract. I don't think it's a traditional wedding. Okay, you could be meeting people at these gatherings. If it isn't a wedding, you could be your wedding. You could be invited to a wedding, housewarming party, whatever. Um, but there could be another celebration, just the celebration of being alive on a new day. Okay, now, talking about a party, we've got a pyjama party here, by the looks of it, that's what I get. Stars, now, if you get the star in usually in a Lenormand or the tarot, a wish coming true. And actually, I there is a wish coming, a sort of kind of wish coming true here, I believe. You can manifest every wish. You've got number five. You've got number five. Look at this. You've got four, two fours. Then you've got a five. Um, you've got two sevens. That's good luck. And then you've got an eight. So you are going upwards and onwards. You've got two eights. Oh, have you got two eights? No, that's an eight. This is an 11. This is an eight. Yes, you've got two eights, two fours and two sevens. So those are the angelic numbers. Okay. And you've got one number five. Okay. Stars. So I believe um, a pyjama party could be a pyjama party. Doing the picnic in the afternoon in, in nature and then have a pyjama party. Great fun. You're going to have loads of parties by the looks of it, um, Pisces. You can manifest your every wish. And like I said, your affirmations is coming true. Right. They're being heard by the cosmos. It's time for you to take your goals and turn them into reality. Create that dream board. Sowing is also creating, sowing the seeds and harvesting, what, reaping. Wish on those shooting stars. Write in a daily manifestation journal. Cast a small or large spell. That's by affirmations or um, visualizations. That's a sort of spell. The universe is waiting to give you exactly what you deserve. Given that it's best for everything and everyone involved. Keep in mind that you also need to believe that you deserve it. There you go. Now the creativity card. Look at that. Nature, nature, nature. Africa, anywhere else in the world, in the mountains. So, yeah, the world is your oyster. Nature. Wow. Free associate. Allow the first thing that comes into your mind without self-censorship to bestow a vision upon you. In other words, exactly what this card is do, uh, saying affirm do a spell meditation visualization that's a spell like i said and this is what this card also means but also the nature aspect go out into nature we've been talking about that beautiful you've got number 71 so that's an eight so now you've got two eights three eights one two three wow so watch out for the three eights, the four fours, the seven sevens. I hope you have enjoyed this reading, my darlings, uh, my darling Pisces. And I hope you will have a wonderful week. Stay safe and be blessed. I love you. Take care.